go from there. So I turn this down to about 200 degrees, and wherever I put the wax is where it will stay. So now we have to worry about imposing. So I'm not going to be able to do a lot as you see. I, mean, I put wax right there, close it, and it smashes that cuss tip. I mean that marginal ridge or transverse ridge. So this is going to be a crown that has kind of flat anatomy. We won't be able to do a lot with it. Which when you're doing gold, you're not able to polish really deep fosses and deep, um, like a deep central um, groove. You can't polish those. So the, the crown's a little bit different. It's waxed up a little bit different as far as um, it needs to be polished so that it's hard to get into really deep, deep anatomy. So usually gold crowns don't have a lot of anatomy. The reason that, why, why would you prescribe a gold crown, Dr. Hill? No room? On the car? Uh, <laughs> What's the cost comparison? Well, it used to be less, and now it's, I think, a little more. I haven't heard that for quite a while. Are there Christian gold crowns more than the first because of the material. We're about $90 on average. We added it up the other day. About $90 on average for material, plus the cost of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. the, the gold itself is about $90 and the lab work on top of that. So as, as we look in there, um, I'm not going to have a lot. I have one little area on the um, buckle um, distal cusp here that I can put some anatomy. I won't be able to put a lot right in here because that's where we have opposing tooth. So I'll just kind of try and put in little tiny secondary stuff that kind of pizzazzes the tooth up a little bit. Yeah. Kind of hard to make a gold crown look natural. Oh, kind of drawn for starters. Right. Do you know gold crowns? No. I've never done one actually. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't even know how to start one. Did you do a white gold? No, it's still cold. Well, I know, but like. Be as obvious, like, as obvious. obvious. I actually do quite a few gold crowns. Second molars, yeah, I like a lot of second molars. Patients will let They did a survey a while ago asking Dennis if they had a second molar to either crown, which, what would they have in most of the second? Absolutely. The well, nice thing about gold too is that your emergence profile is that gold that comes out of the gum line. It tends to be less vocal than the first one. If you don't reduce the tooth enough, then the portion of the tooth can end up being a little bit wider. Especially it seems on the lingual of the actually more like that. Don't you find that, Doctor? People that get like full gold grills, are those crowns or can they like plate the teeth or what do they do? It's like a retainer. They're using out. a colloquialism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar with. Um, 
it's like all their teeth gold. Like, it doesn't have to be gum. It's okay. Yeah, copper. When you say grill, what are you talking about? I'm trying to think of the front end of a Chevy or something. Yes. Old 50 or something like that. These grills? I don't know. It all depends on the music you listen to. Okay. You need to move into that other section of the store and look at the covers on the, the CDs. That's probably a removable prop. You can aim in your teeth. Uh, 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 you go to South America and they're still down in there. Chrysler Motors from Bolivia, they still do electric gold with all across the front teeth. You know, no cavity. You put it on to prove that they have the money to do it. <laughs> and they do it all the time. Because one who picks food off of people's teeth, the grill thing doesn't fill them. It's just a mess of fine carbohydrates hanging around and mix it with mixing crannies and this. We had a guy who had put the, um, the, the club heart spades and Diamond on his front teeth, had it done as a gold inlay on the four front teeth, half the front teeth. I thought that was pretty impressive. <laughs> Distract your opponents when you're playing four teeth. You smile at them and <laughs> really spook them. That's it. Uh, it might not be practical, but it's very classy. He was proud of it. <laughs> So I just fixed the contact area back there, and as you look at this, you'll see that I'm, this would never cast, because my anatomy is um, too deep. So this is if going we to be a pulled this off, not on, is that what you're saying? this would have to be gold, I think. You could do it out of porcelain, but um, this is not a very good margin for porcelain. We need a shoulder there and this is more of a feather you could probably do a pfm um, something you could right as you feather porcelain out it chips very, very easily no but you can you guys can look at that as far as anatomy goes there's the star right there the show Oh, yeah. It's all there. Good doctrine. Sweet nectar. There it is. Say the next show. Good doctrine. Sweet nectar. You probably feel anxious to go to the Whenever you're ready. I'll get back there.